Hi, my name is Edgars. Are you looking for an easy way to configure a switch for your multicast setup? Well, in this video I will show how you can quickly start using iGMP snooping in Router OS. But what is iGMP snooping? It allows switch to listen to iGMP packets and make forwarding decisions based on received information. In short, it does not flood multicast traffic to all switch ports anymore, but it sends them where it is really necessary. Let us look at our network setup. In the center we have a CRS317 switch, it connects four audio video endpoint devices. These black boxes, they will take the video from laptops via the HDMI ports and then send the video to the switch through their SFP Plus ports. The SFP Plus ports are connected to our switch, which then is connected to the other two endpoint devices. Those have monitors attached. I myself I am using a laptop for switch configuration and also as a controller for audio video endpoints. Last, we have a router where DHCP server is running. We are not looking into router configuration, this device is already configured. But if you are interested to learn more about DHCP, firewall or NAT, please check our user manual, the links are available in the description. Here is the diagram of our setup. Here you can see how everything is connected, just like I already explained. Now let us connect to the switch through Winbox. I am using the default configuration where IP address is added and interfaces are included in a single bridge. Make sure you are using the latest available router OS version. For this example I am using the brand new 7.1 version. For now I will disable interfaces where audio video endpoint devices are connected. Open the bridge interface and enable iGMP snooping. This is the main setting that starts the learning process from iGMP packets and controls multicast traffic. However, for iGMP snooping to work correctly, we need one active iGMP querier in the LAN that periodically sends iGMP queries and updates the switch multicast database or MDB. Without an active iGMP querier, MDB entries will time out and multicast traffic will not get forwarded to the needed ports. Also, router OS iGMP snooping does not restrict unknown multicast until active iGMP querier is detected. Once the querier is detected, unknown multicast is automatically limited. We can enable the iGMP querier on the bridge interface using the multicast querier checkbox. This will be our local iGMP querier. If your LAN network already has an active iGMP querier, for example, a multicast router, iGMP proxy or other iGMP snooping bridge, you do not need to enable this setting. Those devices will be your external iGMP querier and you can monitor which external querier is detected on the status page. We don't have any so it shows none. One last note regarding bridge iGMP querier. It can only create untagged iGMP queries. So if you are using VLAN filtering and need to send tagged iGMP queries, you should use an external iGMP querier that supports tagged queries or configure a VLAN interface with enable multicast routing. You can change other bridge related settings here but usually default values are recommended. Check the iGMP and bridge user manual for more details. Then enable fast leave on bridge ports. I will use command line interface to enable this for all bridge ports. This setting will quickly stop the multicast traffic on ports after receiving a leave message. This setting is recommended for ports where only one iGMP client is connected. Again, you can change other port related settings here, but default values are recommended. And configuration is complete. We can enable interfaces where audio video endpoints are connected and test the configuration. You can see the full configuration export on your screen. This configuration can be saved, modified in a simple text editor and imported in other router OS devices. Now we can start the video streams and see if they work. I am using this user friendly web app from Semtech. It is called Blue River AV Manager and it allows me to monitor and control my audio video endpoints. As you can see both videos from laptops are now visible to our monitors. Let's now test if video streams can be quickly changed between our monitors. And this also looks good. If you look at the bridge MDB table, you can see entries for each multicast group and their port membership. Also, 
Take notice if multicast traffic gets correctly forwarded to the necessary ports. It should not be flooded to all bridge ports, for example to a router port. Last, check the switch CPU load and see if traffic does not overload the device. For CRS300 series switches and RB5009, iGMP snooping can be hardware offloaded. If you have more questions, please visit our user manual or feel free to start a new discussion in our user forum. Links are provided in the description. Thanks for watching.